folks, Jonathan here. It's uh, Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Uh, back out here working on the, uh, the go-kart. Uh, I usually work every day and, you know, seven days a week. So uh, I'm working on whatever I'm working on. And the reason I do that is because uh, that's what I enjoy doing. But, uh, you know, I don't watch any football or basketball or anything like that. So anyway, this is about where you'll find me if I'm if I'm around anyway, but in the shop, but I will be spending some time, of course, you know, eating and spending some time with the family today too, but, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get, uh, get started on this. I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, cut this section out, try to round it off a little bit for, for, you know, his back to go in. We'll see how that works out. All right. Okay, folks, I'm just working on sheet metal and, uh, as you can see, I left a hole back here to get the battery into, and the gas tank will be back in there. And then we'll probably make the seat either go in and out or flip forward or something. We'll hinge it so we can get into that if we need to. The solenoid and all that stuff will be also mounted back there. And uh, so we just bent a piece on the brake around, and then I bent some little pieces here. Now I'm getting ready to do the, the sides coming down on each side. And I'm just going to keep working my way around to the front. We'll get the pedals mounted and the floor done. Uh, I think I'm just going to focus on sheet metal work today to try to get as much of it taken care of as I can. Uh, you know, we got a lot of little tacking of welding and stuff to do across there. Uh, this is not too bad to weld to. You know, the body's not really, really thin. All this is really thin. And uh, it's not as thin on the floor as that old back it was there. So. Uh, not this one, of course, but there was another piece up here. But, uh, anyway, I can show you, actually. Uh, it's thin sheet metal. So. All right, we're going to keep at it and keep trying to get some sheet metal work done, and uh, I'll show you as I go. Okay, we're moving right along. Went ahead and uh, bent some pieces up for here, and I'll show you. What I bent was just regular, took some flat sheet metal on just one inch here, two inches there and one inch there. And I'm going to probably do that all the way around here. And that way I don't have to worry about any sharp edges. We're going to weld all this up and grind all of it. It'll be kind of tough because it's so thin. My metal's a little thicker so it won't be so bad. But, uh, but that's what I've got so far. I'm going to go eat some food and I'll be back out here in a little while. Alright folks, I'm, uh, I'm back out here at it. Uh, been a couple hours I ate and actually fell asleep for a few minutes and then uh, my wife's watching football and I'm not in or uh, not football she's watching uh, basketball and uh, I'm not into that too much so anyway we're not going to weld this yet I'm going to go ahead and keep fabricating and then uh, we'll just weld it all at once and grind it so uh, I guess I will uh, I think I'm going to work on the pedals next go and get them running through the floor so I can get that uh the floorboard done up there so anyway it's gonna be a pain but I'm gonna work on that okay we got the go pedal done anyway hope you can see in there and uh, should work just fine and it's tucked down into where you know it's back up under so should do all right I burned a little bit of the paint there when I was welding it just my luck but uh, we're gonna make a brake pedal now it comes around should be able to clear beside this. If not, we'll redo it and bring it out the other side. So he's got a left brake and a right gas. But uh, we don't. We want to clear the steering. We got room between it, but uh, we might be better off. I don't know whether it'd be better off doing it with two, you know where he could operate both feet, brake and gas, or brake and forward, or or not. I don't know. I have to think on that a little bit. But but I think we've got room. We could run it through there if we want to. And uh, the steering is going to be coming about where that hole is in the frame right there. So uh, let me get the, stick the steering arm just through there long enough to give me an idea anyway. All right. Okay, folks, I've got the steering in it. Uh, looks like what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to make a bushing for it and make a mount here. And then I'm going to put a half inch universal on it here. And I want to run a piece of one-inch square tubing up inside here, and that'll strengthen this up really good. And uh, the plans, 
The plans will be to uh, to mount another bushing up here, you know, a wide bushing with uh, with the steering to it because we need to bring this wheel back and down some. Not a lot, but just enough where the steering wheel, you know, don't get into the windshield. So uh, that's going to be pretty simple. Uh, won't take too long to do that, and we'll just use a half inch, uh, you know, universal snap on something like that, and we'll weld it in there. And uh, let me see the way that we've done this uh, with these pieces. Basically, we're going to do the same thing up here, and we'll actually come up and tie it in where this one inch uh, square tubing is running across, and it'll come down, and then we're going to do the same thing all the way one end of the other here, and we'll weld it and grind it, and this will strengthen this whole opening up, plus it'll give everything a rounded edge where there's nothing sharp there, so we won't have that done. So, uh, anyway, I didn't get a lot of work done on it, but I didn't spend much time on it today, so, anyway, happy Thanksgiving again, and uh, appreciate everybody watching, and until next time, bye.